Hi Sagittarius, it's Power and Light Tarot coming at you with a reading. This is going to be your own reading today, Sagittarius. This is going to be the Tree of Life Oracle, alright? So, hope you guys are all doing well, right? And of course I have the Oracle cards here. I'm going to pull maybe one or two more. And, uh, and my dirty glass here, right? It is, uh, sorry guys, but it's a little, I'm in the yard. It's a little bit windy, so, you know, it's not really a pretty sight. But I don't feel like you guys are, you guys really care. So let's see what we have. And uh, let's see what we got for Sagittarius from the Chinese fortune telling cards. Challenges. Interesting. I don't think I've gotten this card yet. No. Let's see what else we have for Sagittarius. And we have the Courage card. Okay. So, you know, Sagittarius, I'm looking at your reading here or your oracles, right? And uh, I feel like you uh, are enlightened here. Mm -hmm. Or somebody you are dealing with is enlightened. I feel like maybe it took, uh, maybe this enlightenment has brought some courage, right? I also feel like somebody wants to compromise with you. Yeah, I do. I feel like this person, or you want to compromise with somebody. And the tower is here. Uh, in this particular deck, it is the thunderbolt. It is somebody going through an awakening, but after something has been kind of fell to the ground, or something has been dismantled, or, you know, something maybe, maybe sad or bad has happened, right? Uh, this is when change happens, when we have challenges, right? Change doesn't come when everything is just hunky-dory and it's just so beautiful and people are asleep and all this other stuff. No, it doesn't. <laughs> when I say asleep in terms of enlightenment, right? Uh, some of you guys might know what I'm talking about, but I do feel like, uh, I do feel like Sagittarius, uh, we, you know, I feel like you have something nice coming. We have the belonging card. I just feel like somebody wants to, like, kind of belong to you and compromise. I feel like this person, somebody wants to be together with you, this bees card. This is busy work or togetherness. Yeah. And I feel like this person is focusing or planning this. I feel like they're planning. Uh, I feel like this person could have went through major challenges or you went through major challenges with them. Because this is definitely about a story and nobody could kind of uh, this looks like uh, the energy of two people. Yeah, this doesn't look like, you know, just kind of one person's energy. No. And uh, let's see what we have. The release card is here, though. So this is interesting. Uh, I'm not sure what they are releasing. They're, you know, uh, maybe denial about something or maybe actually releasing somebody. Right? I don't know yet. Let's see what we have. Maybe uh, they could be releasing denial and this kind of, you know, kind of uh, sleepy, sleepy, kind of sleepy energy where you don't understand anything or like, not anything, but you don't understand what needs to be understood, right, with the enlightenment card, right? So let's see we have, uh, I feel like it's an understanding or an enlightenment that somebody really wants to be with you here with the spider and, the, yeah, and the bees card. So let's look at the elixir because it's showing up. Somebody could be drinking too much. Uh, it could be that, but let's say I feel like it's a nice mix. Health, toxicity, and attending. Mm -hmm. You know, the elixir, like in the olden days, a man would come, the medicine man, or I feel like the medicine man was probably um, a native, but they used to have the guy who used to go, maybe he was a medicine man too, the guy who used to go around in his little coach, and, you know, uh, he was really trying to make a living. But he was, you know, selling these kind of get, you know, like these health elixirs. I don't really know if they worked. Probably uh, some of them did and probably some of them didn't. <laughs> because, uh, you know, if they were based on herbs and plants, then, you know, if they were the right ones, they definitely bring healing. But, you know, this elixir, elixir card, I feel like this has to do also with uh, attending. Maybe somebody's attending to their health, but with the spider and the bees, I feel like somebody wants to attend to you. I feel like they do with this belonging card and the compromise card over here. Somebody's releasing something to come forward. They are in this courage and challenges. This person uh, has uh, the courage now, but I do believe in the past this person did not have the courage. Or you, Sagittarius, because this is your reading, right? Let's see what they have to say about challenges because, you know, maybe they have... Uh, like another take on things, right? Everybody sees things different. Sometimes that can be good. Sometimes it can be a real problem, right? Let's see what we got. And gaining strength and overcoming obstacles will make you a winner. Okay, so, you know, 
it looks to me that a uh, compromise is going to be made. It looks like you kind of, somebody really wants to come and be with you. Yeah, and I feel like this is saying that things are going to, it says uh, overcoming these challenges will make you a winner. Mm -hmm. Let's see what it says, though. Problem in business. Uh, okay, general, this is a good time to make, a good time for making positive changes and having the strength and courage to move forward successfully challenges especially when it shows up with courage right and they are in the same deck of course uh this is a good time for somebody to come forward i believe maybe it's you sagittarius but this is a, a good time for change because somebody has been enlightened too here we have uh the enlightened one here i never remember his name but he is uh looks much like gandhi here uh maybe he is the guru uh, but he is definitely enlightened he is and let's see what else we have uh, regarding finance, problems around business, career, or financial difficulties need to be addressed. Okay. Uh, I don't feel like this is about finances, though. And regarding relationships, do not hold back or block your feelings. It's the time to communicate and let things get off your chest is now. Yeah, by speaking up, problems will uh, improve and uh, dissipate. Yeah. So, yeah, this is about somebody who wants to, like, forget about the problem. So let's see what we have, Sagittarius, because your reading already looks really good, all right? So, yeah, I told you guys, don't forget to invite me to the wedding if there is one. <laughs> let's see what we have, you guys, for Sagittarius. Ooh. Ooh. Excuse me, guys. Sitting in the yard here, and... uh I don't know where the animals are today. They're, I guess the birds sing more in the morning. Of course they do. And I'm sitting here in the afternoon, right? It's kind of kind of turning into late afternoon. But uh, there's still usually animals that come through here. Or, you know, at least the robin. He used to always show up in the right over there. And then sometimes turkeys come here. Uh, yeah, turkeys. There's another animal that shows up here. Oh, well, there's always uh, chipmunks, squirrels. Mm -hmm. and cats sometimes. Let's see what we got. And of course, you know, they have a dog. So let's see what we have, Sagittarius. Your current energy. Show me Sagittarius's current energy. And it is the skeleton, all right? This could be your present situation, right? And just not. And we have the return and the gambler. So the root here is the gambler. This is taking a chance. It's really what it is. Uh, the skeleton, maybe you are protecting yourself. The skeleton can be about uh, somebody who is trying to protect themselves, just like the uh, the bones protect your organs. Mm -hmm. I feel like it has to do with something from the past, too. We're going to have a look at that. And uh, in the past is the edge, OMG. So not really sure what that's about yet. And what's on your mind is the surgeon. So if you're not having surgery, uh, Sagittarius, I feel like you are wondering or you want somebody to cut somebody out. Because this is way too beautiful for you to be cutting somebody out. I mean, there's like, I think I have like uh, maybe 10 cards here. And they are all really, really beautiful. The only card here that could be is the Thunderbolt and the Challenges card. But this tower, I feel like, is a tower that needs to fall. Yeah. So let's see. I just feel like the surgeon is, uh, is on your mind. So if you're not having surgery, like real surgery, then you want something cut out. And in the near future, it is blank. OMG, Sagittarius. This means that we don't know what's going to happen. But, you know, we're looking at these oracle cards. So, And I feel like it's blank, though, because you are unsure about your near future. That's it, Sagittarius. What you want... Uh, your concern is the cauldron. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So let's see what else. In your environment is the Passover. You could be waiting for this person. You could be waiting for them to release somebody. Because this surgeon card, I feel like it is the same as this release. Mm -hmm. Somebody could be worried about belonging. Maybe you didn't feel like you belonged with this person or something like that. But I feel like these cards are somebody else's cards. And they want to belong to you. Pretty sure here. Mm -hmm. It's right next to the bees card. Yeah. 
And this is all about uh, togetherness and busy work, but it is togetherness. Somebody's focusing and planning with the spider. I feel like you are wondering if they are doing that. I feel like that's what this reading is. And in your, uh, your desire is the well. You want them to replenish the well, Sagittarius. You do. Mm -hmm. And your outcome is going to be the veil. So this is uh, the outcome to this uh, Kabbalah reading, right? But, uh, and though we are not the Kabbal, you guys know we're not. We're not uh, the Kabbal, these people who, yeah, no, we're not. <laughs> people who run things. But, you know, the veil, this is uh, Sagittarius, uh, your outcome here. Something is being lifted, some type of veil. And it could be a release. It could have to do with the release where... Uh, somebody is like telling the truth or they are lifting a veil about a lie and but I feel like whatever this veil is it is bringing somebody back to you the return right here yeah so let's look at the skeleton Sagittarius okay and maybe that's you maybe you haven't been eating all right I told you Sagittarius all right eat vegetables all right yeah and fruit Limit the protein. Limit the uh, the carbs. All right. <laughs> see, what we have you guys. Limit the sweets and the sodas for sure. Okay. See, what we got. Let's look at the skeleton. Mm-hmm. Where is the skeleton? Let's see, what we have for you guys. Omg. Whoo. And here it is. It is. Mm -hmm. Sorry about the lull here. Let's see what we got for the skeleton. It says, without skin, muscle, sinews, uh, which is part of your body, and tissue, the skeleton hangs limply. Yes. Without this covering, it is neither able to protect the organs of the body nor enclose them. But without a skeleton, nothing can stand. This is your current energy. Okay, the earth cards are often to do with the form of things. We never see our own skeleton unless it is on scans or x-rays. Yet the skeleton is the vital structure that dictates the form of our bodies. Let's see here. And uh, it talks about don't seek for novelty when you should be looking at the fundamental framework of your life. Okay, that's what this is about. Yeah, that's what I was thinking. But this, you know, this skeleton card, Sagittarius, uh, for me, the gambler is the root. You're wondering if someone's taking a chance on you. Yeah. Mm hmm I feel like you are wondering if they are returning here. Yeah, and maybe they are just returning. But uh, the skeleton card is about, like, the framework. Like, the, the thing that is most important, right? You can't stand... Without your bones, your frame, and you can't protect your organs. The thing that is most important, kind of. Okay, we can also talk that, uh, we can also equate this with you may need to strengthen that structure just as a weakness on one bone can cause a fracture and bring the whole body tumbling down. So any neglected areas of your basic setup can likewise bring everything to a halt. This can talk about attention to basics. Yeah, because your skeleton is basic, right? It is. And fundamental, right? A naked form or framework that must be clothed and cherished. Routine work. A call to look at the hidden form of things. So we're saying the hidden form because the skeleton kind of hides the organs and everything like that, right? It is inside your body. It is a little bit of a hidden, a hidden situation. So let's see here. Let's get some tarot cards for you, Sagittarius. And uh, let's see what we have. And where are those t uh, tarot cards? Where are they when we need them? OMG, let's see. A couple of decks in here, but where the hell are they? Okay, so let's see. For you, Sagittarius. Mm -hmm. Okay, so let's see. We're going to use the golden deck here. Yeah, we are. We're so golden over here. And uh, let's see, Sagittarius. Uh, the skeleton, the return, and the gambler. So the root here, the most important thing here is somebody is somebody taking a chance. I feel like this is somebody else. And I feel like over here what's on your mind is the surgeon. Are they actually cutting somebody out? All right, Sagittarius. Unless your husband is a surgeon. All right, yeah. Mm-hmm. Or your wife or, you know. And then let's see. Uh, so let's get a card on the skeleton. Let's see what that is about. 
Show me the energy for the skeleton. And it is the Three of Pentacles and the Page of Cups. Mm -hmm. The return is showing up with the Star card. This is a healing. The return with the Star card. OMG, it sure is. And uh, this is uh, a return of somebody. And this is all about compromise. So when I see this card, Sagittarius, I don't want these to blow away. When I see this card, I feel like in the past there was not compromise. No, there wasn't. And you could have felt you didn't belong, like like you didn't belong. Maybe this person was with somebody else with this release card and the surging card. And the, and the gambler, let's get a card on the gambler. This is the root or the reason kind of like why it's all happening. And then we have the six of swords. See what I mean? I feel like you are wondering here if somebody's leaving. And they could just be doing it. You could be leaving somebody. Uh, you could be leaving somebody here to take a chance on somebody else. This is about a release and a reunion both. That's what this reading is. And we'll get one more card on this uh, energy. The King of Cups Reverse. Maybe that's your person. Pisces, Cancer, or Scorpio. But this reading is all about you returning to somebody or uh, wanting somebody to return to somebody else. Yeah. And we'll get one more card on the Root and the Chariot card. Yeah. See, this is you. Uh, all about, I feel like you are wondering if somebody's taking a chance to have victory with you and Six of Swords to leave somebody else. I also feel like you kind of want to diss this energy uh, that they were talking about in the Challenges card. Like, it's, it's, it's the time to take challenges on. That's what this card is talking about, not just talking about challenges. Yeah, it is the time to uh, face them and deal with them. And you, if you are returning to somebody, you may have to apologize or this could be, there's something about this return that you have to face, right? Maybe these challenges in order to make, you know, everything better or, you know, to reunite with them. I do feel like this is a better reunion, as I've been saying. In the past was the edge and the five of wands reversed. The edge is like when something's going to happen. Or somebody's on the edge of something. Five of wands reversed. So let's see. Uh, maybe you released yourself uh, from this situation because you were on the edge. Like, maybe you were already kind of on the edge of on the edge of already leaving or on the edge of, you know, of something else. This could be somebody else's energy too. The Page of Pentacles reversed. I feel like you released yourself here. Mm -hmm. Maybe you were on the edge of having a new start with them in the past with the Page of Pentacles reversed, but you like released yourself from it. You're like, oh no, I'm just, I can't like, because it looks to me like there was some past drama. Yeah, I'm not going to say trauma, but drama. All right. Yeah. Hopefully it's not trauma, but uh, it looks like there was some past drama with this person. I feel like this is somebody from your past. This could be your ex. It could, definitely. So in the past, maybe you are wondering if they were, if they were, like, leaving somebody. Maybe you were frustrated and you wanted them to leave somebody because the Six of Swords can be frustration, it, like getting away from it, like a rowing away. And it is right next to this, uh, the Edge card. And what's on your mind? <coughs> the Surgeon. We have the full card, and yeah, okay, let's see what else we have. Yeah, see, so you want somebody to cut somebody out and take a chance, or you are cutting somebody out with the surgeon card and taking this risk. This is why the gambler uh, is the fool, right? That's why the gambler is in the root, and also the six of swords. I feel like that talks about somebody is, like, leaving somebody, could be, and the nine of wands. So this is you. What's on your mind? You are the wounded warrior. You don't know if somebody's going to, for me, if they're going to cut somebody out and come to you. God, it sounds awful. It sounds like we're like mafiosos, right? Cut somebody out, right? Or let somebody go, right? It's the surgeon, though. I mean, what are you supposed to say? You know, kind of, you know, right? Kind of. Uh, <laughs> because the surgeon cuts, right? But I feel like this is you. What's on your mind? This is cranning your thoughts. This is like the most important thing. This is what... Uh, you know, keeps your thoughts, this is what you're thinking about all the time, or a lot, is whether or not they're going to take a chance on you. And I feel like it has to do with leaving somebody else with the release card and the Six of Swords energy. And in the near future, Sagittarius is the, the card of the blank card, Sagittarius. This is time for you to put, you know, new hieroglyphics, right? Anything that they have done in history is... <laughs> Finding out how much of it was a lie. <coughs> Excuse me. Sorry, guys. Let's see what we have. And we have the Gemini card, right? 
So this is in the this is in the near future. I feel like somebody's taking making a choice. It could be to maybe wipe somebody off their slate. This card can talk about that. This is blank. This is like a slate. Maybe some maybe your person is Pisces or Scorpio or Gemini, Sagittarius. These are the cards we have for the near future. I feel like somebody's making a choice. And I feel like that's what exactly what this has to has to do with. It has to do with somebody choosing to return to you. And uh, this person, I believe, um, maybe they're in a toxic situation here with this toxicity. The elixir is toxicity. Maybe they're drinking too much. Mm -hmm. I feel like this person, whoever they are, somebody wants to belong to you. Yeah, they do. And in the past, you felt like you didn't belong because I think they were with somebody else. And, uh, mm hmm. What else does it say about this elixir? Besides, we know, uh, mm hmm. Attending. Yeah, you see, I feel like this. And that is, yeah, that is above the root. I just feel like this somebody is coming to, like, attend to you. That's all this lady wanted, mm -hmm. this belonging card. She just wanted, she wanted to belong to, like, a family. Mm -hmm. But, you know, I feel like this person is coming forward, and you've been wondering for a long, long time if they were. Let's keep this going and see what else we, uh, we have. Let's get a card on this Gemini, the lover's. Mm -hmm. And then we have the Eight of Cups. So this is in the near future. You're not leaving anybody in this. I don't think you're leaving anybody in this. You could be. Maybe you're releasing somebody. But the better part or the major part of this reading, Sagittarius, is about you reuniting with somebody. I don't see any reu... Uh, the star card is here, healing. But there's there are other cards that are not so obvious, like compromise. Mm -hmm. And the bees, which is togetherness. I feel like this person could be busy planning here with the focus, yeah, and the spider together. I feel like that is them. Or you are busy planning to leave somebody, Sagittarius, with the Eight of Cups. But what I was trying to say is that, you know, this leaving is not the... It's kind of like the negative part, and it is a little bit the sad part. Somebody's leaving somebody to be with you, or you are leaving somebody to be with somebody else, Sagittarius. But this is about a reunion for you. It is. All right. So let's see what your concern is, the cauldron and the king of pentacles. Okay. So, you know, this is probably your person, this Virgo, Taurus, or Capricorn. You know, they could be, uh, they could be this king of cups, Pisces, Cancer, or Scorpio. They might be, uh, you know, we also have um, Aquarius with the star card. They may be... Yeah, they could be uh, this Aries over here with the Magician and Gemini, right? So let's see what else we have. Sorry, guys. <laughs> and let's see what we have. Let's, let's hold the book over the reading, guys. Sorry about that, but uh, what are we looking for? We are looking for the Cauldron. Yes, we are, which is right here. This is your concern with the King of Pentacles. Uh, the cauldron has to do with, I believe, something really like a new beginning or kind of like a rich... Let's see what it says before we jump the gun. We want to jump the gun here. Let's see what we got. And we have, when the, within the cauldron resounds the great hollowness of antiquity. This is about somebody from your past. All the combinations of time and necessity have been stirred and beaten there. The course of nature has shaped its smooth, hard sides. Yeah. Within it, the bubbling movements of movements of a million processes have arisen and passed away, creating a source of fertility that never ceases. The cauldron is one of the great symbols found in mythologies across the world. The oracle, the, ca the, the, the cauldron is something where you have like a rich broth where you can make a brand new, like where you have resources. It says right here, you have great resources at your disposal. Perhaps you will have to put aside your personal ambitions to use them. This is your concern with the King of Pentacles. I feel like your concern is, are they coming forward? Yeah, I feel like that's it. This is somebody from your past. 
And this could have been a while, like, and this could be somebody you know from years and years, possibly. Because this cauldron speaks to, like, a real past when we see the word antiquity, yeah. So let's see what else it put you, okay. Why hang on to your own notion of how something must be done when you can tap into your source of wisdom like this? I feel like you know somebody's coming here, but you could be thinking, too, that you're going to have to adapt to something. Like, it, you know, I mean, there could be a period of a adaptation here or adapting, right? Because maybe you haven't seen them for years, right? Uh, and, you know, and maybe they are coming out of some grief here because they could be releasing somebody. They could. Uh, and, yeah. Let's see what else we have. And... Let's see. This is not the time for insisting on your own individual approach. This is this is telling you here. This is for me. This is more of like not a warning, but kind of a a suggestion. That's not a good word either. But uh, it's like telling you, you know, be open. Yeah, be open and don't try to do things every you know the way you want all the time, Sagittarius. Because Sagittarians have strong personalities. Yeah, they do. I'm one, so I can say that. Yes, they do. Uh, some people can't even hang. No, they're like, oh, shit. <laughs> Here comes Sagittarius, right? Uh, and this, it says, this is not the time for insisting. Okay. Okay, for your own individual approach, use the bounty that you have been blessed with. And that's what I was saying about the cauldron. This is going to be, this can be for a brand new beginning. Like, this is something like a rich broth, vast resources. It was just saying that. This is your concern. There's somebody here you love here, and you want a new beginning with them? Yeah, and this is your concern. And this is like, this is beautiful because this is not just like you want to heal something. You know that this is really, really rich, that this is beautiful and rich. You know that, yeah. And you feel, this person, you feel like there's a real togetherness with this person when you were with them in the past with uh, with the bees. Mm -hmm. Energy dipping into history, trust in the healing powers of nature, a deep source of love, well-being, and many blessings. Many blessings. Yeah. Very cool. Let's look at your, uh, let's get one more card. Uh, where are these cards? Let's get one more card on your concerns, Sagittarius, because uh, there's a good looking earth sign here. There is in this deck. He is. Uh, let's see what we got. Queen of Pentacles. Yeah, this is an earth sign that you're in love with here. For sure. Judgment. This is your concern. You want a rebirth with them? Five of Pentacles. I feel like if they're leaving somebody out right here. I feel like that's it. And uh, there's other cards here uh, supporting that. But even if they are not leaving somebody, your concern is a rebirth. And maybe you are concerned there might be a lack of something. But I don't feel like that's it. Because there is no lack here. There are challenges to be overcome, but there is togetherness. Yeah. And there is compromise showing up and belonging. This person wants, they want to be yours. Yeah. So in the environment, Sagittarius, is the Passover card with the Two of Cups. And we have the Nine of Wands. Okay, so this is in your environment. This is somebody who really loves you. This is waiting. You're waiting for this person you really love. And it's showing up right here. And this is a victory. I feel like this is going to turn into a victory. And one of these cards was saying that. I feel like the challenges card. Uh, and then we have the well. This is your hopes and fears. Uh, this is actually your desire. You want a new path and you want them to replenish the well, Sagittarius. So we're going to put the outcome there. We're going to go to the extended reading. And we're going to talk about the current situation for this person and between you as well. Their challenges, what they want, Sagittarius, I'm sure it's to, you know... It's together, together with you, yeah. And what they fear, how they feel about you, how they see the situation, and uh, what they hide, yeah, what you don't know about them, what they could be hiding or their outcome, and their outcome, of course. Thanks so much, you guys, and please remember to like, share, and subscribe. I really want to see this reading because things are moving along. Yeah, this person is, yeah, well, I'm on my way to Sagittarius. Okay, guys, thanks so much. <laughs>